My name is Kainton, the Tech Pro, and now we are going to continue with part 25 of our Hibani tutorial for Java programmers. And we are going to see how we can delete a user from the repository. The question about deleting a user is this. If we delete a particular user, what will happen to all the posts belonging to this user? Because this post belongs to this user. What will happen to all the child entities? For us to answer this question, let's try to write the delete method for delete user, just like we did for delete posts. We try to run it, and then we see the, the roadblock we are going to encounter. So let's go to, to user controller and then write the delete method. All right, so user controller. We are going to write it at the very ends. So I'm going to say, of course, you know it's delete mapping. Uh, to slash user slash i slash id slash delete. If I'm too fast, feel free to rewind the video, pause it, and follow what the instructions in the website step by step. So I'm going to say probably void delete user. Uh, of course, it takes the id coming from the path variable. Uh, integer ID and we are going to call the service to help us delete it. We've not written the function in the service, but we are going to write it. So say user service dot delete user and give it the ID and just close. All right, so the next thing we want to do is to write this method in the user service. So put your mouse there and just say create methods, delete user, uh, delete user at this point in the service. So just call the user repository dot delete by ID. So user repository dot delete by ID. That is what we are going to use. It's going to be the second to the last one and that is fine. So let's try to delete a user. The problem is what happens to all the child entities, to all the posts made by this user. So let's run it first and then we continue from there. Again, I'll not I'll not get tired of thanking of thanking you for being there, of thanking you for all the effort you put, the length. For me, uh, when I was starting like you, it wasn't really easy. But I tell you with time, you'll be like me. You'll really be a very good programmer if you don't give up. So when we run this application, when application starts completely, we are going to try to delete user one and see what happens when we try to delete user one. So uh, let's go to try to delete user user one. So delete user one, so send. So you can see it gives us this error that says could not execute a statement SQL constraint, blah, 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 because as I mentioned, there are child entities belonging to this user. You can't delete a user just like that when it has child entities like posts made by this user. So how do we handle this problem? That takes us to the next part, which is talking about cascade types. We are talking about cascade types in Hibernate. So I'd like you to get your head around what you've done so far, and then let's move on to part 26, and we meet in the next part, part 26. Again, I'd like to remind you to leave me a comment uh, if this has been informative for you.